Welcome to this video of do-it-yourself tutorial by Bharati Derby Consultancy. In this video we are going to talk about reference lines, bands and boxes. So we will see how to create reference lines, bands and boxes. Open the same TW file and use the data connection from video number one. So go to a new sheet and rename it to DIY with 12. So I went to the new sheet and renamed it as DIY with 12. Next drag and drop the sale date and the department to the columns shelf area. Set the detail at year. Let's do that. So sale date. It's automatically year and department to the columns shelf area next drag and drop the sales amount to the rose shelf and from the show menu start uh, set the chart type to bar chart so go to table drag sales amount to the rose area you can change the chart type to a different using show me like this or this I don't want to do that I want to keep it as what the default is like this to add a reference line right click on y-axis of the left side and then on the left side and then add a reference line let's do that so go to tableau this is the y-axis, this is the x-axis, right click the y-axis, -axis. say add reference line and then you can add a reference line. You can say sum of sales amount, average sum of sales amount and you can say computation click on OK and you can see this line being created which is an average sales amount so add a reference line to show the average of sales amount which I just did now let's add a reference band reference bands so let's add reference band here now if you want to add reference band right click again say edit reference line and here select band so in the band you would have minimum sales amount to maximum sales amount so it's a band click on ok and you would see a gray color marked here which is from the minimum to the maximum let's change one more time edit reference calculation and let's go back to the line change it to average and click on ok you can see an average line again here now next go back again to the edit reference line and click on per cell per cell is you can see that it's it's one bar at a time that doesn't make sense if you do per pane you can see that for this particular pane which is 2012 this is your reference line and you can see that this line is not consistent it's it's this line is valid for this 2013 or 12 pane if I want to do a reference line for a median you can see that it's the same but if you want to do a, um, some constant so let's say I want to stretch a line for 3500 or 4000 I can still do that so reference lines are providing a visual aid in understanding the data that's about it so 
this is 4000 reference anything below is below and anything on the top is more than 4000 so time to pause the video to do some hands-on exercises so let's do the following hands-on exercises the first one exercise number 20 add a new sheet drag and drop the department and item category dimensions to the column shelf area and then use the profit and loss measure and add a reference band also in the second exercise for this type which is DIY 21 do a reference box try it yourself and see if you can understand it's simple it just provides the visual aid so thank you for watching and happy learning